I'm here at Jim Kelly Gallery with my exhibit called Continuous Incident. It's been a long process documenting the idea of a woman actually falling to earth. It was from a dream. A woman is in a beautiful, big, billowing dress. She is falling to earth and being cushioned. The dress is, is full of air. It's letting her fall very comfortably to earth. The real story is that it's more about her memory of herself as she falls to earth and how she leans back and slowly brushes off her behind and walks like a strange bird. David Bowie um, is the man who fell to earth. Since we don't have a woman who falls to earth, now we do. I sort of added the idea of this strange bird because I think that when one falls and gets up, it is a different kind of mindset after you have gotten up. At a certain point, I decided to write about what I saw. I've always worked with books as my source, and in this case, these books are 10 books that are virtually all the same, but give me all these different options when opened up. It's also fun to be able to refer back and say, well, on page number six, you can see that this is what, where I got this idea. And the materials combine in a page, in a unified page, and it's like a dictionary for me. The books are actually in an edition of 10. Um, they're not exactly the same, but they're in what we would call an edition variate. Each one documents um, fully all the pages. They are cut um, hand-drawn and cut so that the images vary from book to book, although it is the same general image. When the books are open and we see through the cuts, we will never see the cut patterns in exactly the same way for each book. The printing varies, the paper varies, um, the way the cuts and the holes are filled varies. The books are using various different materials, primarily still Japanese paper, um, which is tinted. Some of the books are covered with wax encaustic, and others are left uh, natural with the natural tint. Um, also, each cut is a hole which is filled with different materials. Sometimes it's thread, sometimes it's cellophane, um, sometimes it's uh, theatrical gels, um, translucent, brilliant colors. I'm also incorporating print techniques into the book so the different positions of the woman falling are printed on each page, but each one, each edition of each book is random. And this is actually an Unryu paper, which is a very fibrous Japanese paper. It's been cut into different shapes and glued together. The coloration of the paper is tinted with acrylic. I've also combined that with um, a type of tool, which is a nylon material. Veils and slips and, and dresses, ballet dresses, would be made out of. I'm very enamored with the idea of this almost decoupage kind of technique where I meld everything together by using an acrylic medium and I can layer things and create these translucent surfaces. I can paint on top of things after I've glued them all. There's lots and lots of options. I think collage comes, for me, directly out of Matisse. I often think of Matisse's uh, swimming pool series, cutout series, 
and how things and edges work together and collage extends on into materials. For me, we do see a lot of vibrancy in terms of complementary colors and intensity. The iridescent also is that indescribable kind of color. Nature has iridescence as well. Color again and again, it's always color. If color, the color is good, if it's working, if there's interaction and there's excitement in color, we're gonna talk about color all the time. I made an entire costume with a, a dress made out of paper and the skirt was all paper with a very light blue slip as well and these were the shoes that I used. Karens are a stack of rocks or, or boulders. They balance perfectly. If we took these boulders by cutting them in half, we would see inside this wonderful kind of almost like lettuce. Originally, I had made the sculptures to put over books, um, to light the books. And these almost feel like the billowing skirt in a way. If you look at them, they are cut in half. They are the boulders. I have on a long skirt and I am looking up at myself and I am way up in the sky. It seems as if I am floating endlessly, slowly moving downward, slightly lilting from side to side. Alternately, I get an occasional flash of my body landing on the earth, a sidewalk I think. I look away. I am silent. Somewhere I am between floating and landing. I am walking now, leading with my heel. My back is slightly bent and my hands are stretched back, sort of like some strange long-necked bird. <laughs>